Why Buari should negotiate with IPOB, Boko Haram, Adamu Gaba? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Niger Trends HD. CEO of IPI Solution and the owner of Crowe App, Adamu Gaba, has asked Nigerian authorities to stop the offensive against terrorist organizations, Boko Haram, and their Lord Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. Gaba asked the government to instead negotiate with the groups. The former presidential aspirant said this via his known Facebook page on Monday while posting that Nigeria definitely knows the real sponsors of terrorism. His post reads as follows. He said, To those who said that negotiations with Boko Haram, bandits, and IPOB is not possible, we should keep because we should keep bombing and keep losing lives. I say this to you: We are ISIS in the Levant today. What are no, what of Nostra Front, Hakwani Network, Al Qaeda, Al Shabab, Aquim, Ansar Danai, Ansar Daim, um, Irish Republican Army, ETC. What of the Afghan Taliban? Ask Russia and Turkey how to how they handled ISIS. Ask Qataris, Saudis, and Pakistanis how they managed disappear Nusra Front, Qaeda, and Hakwanis. How did France deal with Ansa and Aquim in Africa? How did Britain end and contained the IRA or? why the american super weapons ended up running away from the untrained uneducated and ill organized afghan taliban everything ended up on a negotiation table the truth is all insurgency from history are motivated by two things desire for justice or economic survival nigeria's case is not an exception we cannot continue to throw bombs in our own backyards to our neighbors. Fellow citizens and fellow countrymen and women and believe we are making any progress. This is the clean principle of self-destruction. This is illogical to the modern state government governance in the 21st century. It cannot take us anywhere. We must find other means. Since the inception of the crisis in 2009, Nigeria burned $44 billion to kill its fellow citizens and destroy its infrastructure to fight an enemy that simply listening and conversation, listening and converse, uh, conversation can uh, solve. That amount, the $44 billion, can dredge River Niger and Benue through the deltas of Anambra and Imo, build superhighway from Maduguri to Calabar through Mubi, Yola, Jalingo, Wukari, Zaki, Biam, Zaki Biam, Van Dekia, Ikom, and Ugep, link Kanu, Sokoto, Kebi to Badagri through Bogu in Niger State, and lay gas pipelines and fiber cables from Niger Delta and Lagos to Abuja and Kaduna upwards to the hinterland respectively. All these burnt away in trying to fight ourselves. That is needless to say that most of these monies were either stolen, shed or disappeared into the thin air. Believe it or not, Boko Haram bandits, IPOB are all Nigerians and our fellow brothers and sisters that they share some border, live in same neighborhood, eat same food, share same language and same tradition, and suffer the same way. Whether we kill 10 terrorists today and one soldiers, we cannot escape the fact that Nigerians kill fellow Nigerians. We must look beyond our borders if we must fight an enemy, but we must do all we can to protect our homeland, fix our differences, without the sacred blood of our brothers and sisters getting shaded. These so-called internal wars against terrorism should be called to a halt and larger table to expand it to accommodate our differences no matter our disagreements. 
Let's call a spade a spade. All terrorists are known by the states in each country. Nigeria definitely knows who are those terrorists and the real sponsor, even though no legal, act, no legal case might have been established against them. We must slow down on the killings, open our country, bury our pride, uh, bury our pride, and fix our internal differences and disagreements by mainstreaming a legal framework for a fair position for all. The villagers cannot go to farm. Hunger is on the rise. We are now in a dry so season without good harvest. Food inflation is very high. The cost of um, everything is getting unbearable. We cannot afford to keep spending on wars. We must accept our issues and come to terms with the best way out of this by tackling the very basic necessities of our livelihood. These wars should be over. Let's work towards peace and prosperity of our people. The desperation, lack of opportunity and better future a hope is more important now than the blood of our fellow citizen. Well, guys, this is unexpected, especially coming from Adamu Gaba, but irrespective of who it's coming from, it's actually a very um, good statement. He has said it all, and if this can be looked into, and if this can be accepted, um, I think it will go a long way in solving all the problems in this country. Imagine se spending $44 billion on um, trying to fight ourselves, our brothers, and trying to um, destroy our own homeland and infrastructure, which the money could have been used to develop a lot of things in our society. Like he stated, that that money will use to, can be used to build a super highway, used to um, dredge the River Niger and River Benue, make things easier, make life easier, make um, food available make job available for people that we have the necessary resources we have the necessary capacity it's just a matter of um discussion being in the round table to negotiate and debate or settle in for what is best for our people but greedy politicians will not accept this and they will not want to work with this but irrespective of that we just pray that one day god takes control and fight for our mates Thank God they are beginning to see the light. At least this is coming from him. Guys, if you have anything to say, kindly leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon.